Go. And we're back. So <laughs> if you look, you can see that it has now filtered through. But now what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we've transferred all of our product. to this so that way because we're quantitatively determining how much product we made we want to make sure we're collecting all of it. Now what we want to do is we want to rinse our solid to make sure that any spectator ions or the reagent that we have in excess has been passed through the filter paper and is being collected at the bottom as the filtrate. So we're gonna, it's almost done. Okay. So we've washed it, so now the solid that we have at top should just be our copper phosphate. And so our next step is we're going to take a wave beaker, turn off our vacuum, okay, and now we're ready to take our solid and transfer it to this beaker so that we can put it in an oven to remove any of the residual water. Not losing too much pressure. Oh. There we go. Okay. Of course. Okay. So now we're going to take this and transfer it into an oven. And the purpose of this step is to allow it to heat it and remove the water. Okay, magic. Time has passed and we now have a sample that has been heated and all the water has been removed. So the last step of this is now to get the actual weight of the beaker, the filter paper with the copper phosphate. So we will then weigh it. And now we have the weight. The data will then be sent to you by your instructors. Thank you.